it's called. Yeah. This is rubbing alcohol. The nurses put that on patients because they want to make them nice and cool. Now, you know why, though? Why? Well, whenever a gas evaporates or a liquid changes to a gas, the molecules speed up. So in order to do that, they have to get the heat energy from someplace. In this case? My hand. Yeah, from your hand. In fact, you have a built-in thing that does exactly the same thing. It's called perspiration. Oh. On a hot day, you perspire, and so the hot the molecules that fly off take heat from your body, and that yeah. keeps you cool. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. Here, let's uh, try. Uh, over here is the thermometer. See it? And there's a probe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's the temperature in the room? Nineteen. I can read it from the back here. Nineteen point six seven, yeah. and so forth. Now, put the thermometer. Well, wait, wait, wait. I want you to tell what's going to happen. I think it's it's going to get colder. Yeah. Whereas and because. Where is the energy for the molecules to fly off and evaporate going to come from? From the probe. Right, from the probe. Okay, try it. Okay. 19, 18, 17, 16. 15. 15. Yeah, it's going yeah, down It's really fast. definitely going down, right? Here, I'm going to get the, the top of the uh, rubbing alcohol and put it off to the side. Um, the same sort of thing happened. What happened, by the way, when you touched it? It went up. Yeah, it's going up a little bit. No, it's still going down. 13, now it's going. R hold okay. it real tight, and you can make it go up real fast. Neat. Yeah. It's a very sensitive thermometer. Now, have you noticed when you have a room air freshener or a hairspray or anything like that, when you spray it, it feels cool? Yeah, it does. Yeah. For the same reason, though, right? Yeah. I As the molecules are evaporating or spreading out, they have to absorb heat. Why don't you spray the, th the, the probe? Okay. And watch. What's the temperature first? 21.3. Okay, go. Whoa. They went, went down, down fast, fast, right? Yes. 16. This is now because when you push the top of a spray like this, the, air, the molecules are spreading out, right? They're going around faster, yeah. so they have to absorb the heat from someplace. Usually you can even feel it in the can many times. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do the most dramatic of all. Come on mm. over here. You know what this little thing is? Not really. Well, it's a CO2 cylinder. And they use it to make seltzer bottles work and, and they have some rifles work on this principle. Mm. Inside here is liquid carbon dioxide. If we punch a hole at the top, we're gonna let it evaporate. Yeah. Okay, so what should happen to the temperature? It's gonna drop. Right, because it's got absorbed the heat from someplace. We're going to put it in that little container like that. Take the top, take that thing out, because I want to add just a little bit of water. Why would I want to put water in there? Go ahead, I'll put it back. To prove that the, uh, to prove that the temperature is dropping. Well, how are you going to tell that from the water? It might freeze. Yes, it freezes. If we really drop the temperature enough, we can freeze the water. So what we're going to do is put this down. There's a nail. See, there's a nail here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put the nail right on top of the thing like that. But before we push down on it, it could be dangerous. It might fly around, so put on the safety glasses. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, push down. Hey, you can see the ice in there. Yeah, it's frozen right to the thing, right? Yeah. Don't you think that's the sort of dramatic example Neat. of how when Gas molecules expand, they pick up the heat from their surroundings. In this case, the CO2 cylinder coated with ice. Wow.